Okay, we're looking at projectile motion question. We are throwing a ball off of Wilmette Canyon at 24 meters per second, and what we're trying to do is find the range. So the range is the distance from the base of the cliff to where the object is going to land. So this is a two-dimensional motion question, so we need to look at the X components. The distance from the X is our range, which is a question mark. Our speed in the X direction, or velocity in the X direction, is 24 meters per second. And the time of flight is a question mark. So we have two things we don't know, which means we have to write our Y components. So the distance in the Y direction, which is the height of the cliff, is negative 99 meters negative because it's down. Acceleration in the y direction is negative 9.80 meters per second squared and our speed or velocity in the y direction is zero and again we don't know our time. So we're going to use the kinematic equation d equals v1t plus one half at squared. d is negative 99. Now if we look right here the initial speed in the y direction is a zero so we can put a zero plus one half Acceleration is negative 9.8 times t squared. So we'll do a little bit of math. We want to solve for t squared, so let's divide both sides by negative 4.90. t squared is 20.20. Take the square root of both sides which means the time of flight, 4.49 seconds. That's how long the ball will be in the air. Now that we have that time of flight, we can go back up to our X components, which are right here. And we now know the time is 4.49 seconds. Because it is uniform motion, we can just use a D equals VT relation. So dx is 24 meters per second times the time of flight, which is 4.49 seconds. And our range, or dx, 107.87. And significant digits of 3, 108 meters. There is our range.